All right, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Said John Green once, but I'm not John Green. Hello, YouTube. My name is Manus Gangmore, and welcome to my first video in the Civilizations series. Today we'll be talking about one of the world's most well-known civilizations. That's debatable. We don't know. The Indus River Valley Civilization, or the Indus Valley Civilization. I can't decide. Roll the intro. Right, so, still undecided. Anyway, the Indus River Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization. But before I get to talk about that, we need to quickly go over something else, or this video is going to get too long. What is a civilization? Right, so this is a question that people have been trying to answer for years, like hundreds of years. A civilization is defined as an advanced society of humans. It contains developed forms of government, culture, industry, trade. We could go on for hours. They also have common social norms. Some characteristics that define a civilization are having urban centers, religion, like I said before, language, and a culture, also like I said before. There, that's how far I'm gonna get before I get controversial. So, now what you're all really here for. The Indus Valley Civilization. Obviously, the name gives a hint at where it was located. It grew up around the Indus and Gagakur Hakra, or the Saraswati River floodplains. It is the biggest of the four ancient civilizations, Egypt, Mesopotamia, China, and the Indus Valley. Seriously, it's about 777,000 square miles. There have been excavations of the civilization till about 30 miles north of Delhi. It extended all throughout present-day Pakistan, except for a little sliver of the north that you can see here. It extended south to Gujarat and east to Delhi, but that's debatable, as you can see. You cannot see that part of the map here. It went northwest to about mid-Afghanistan, as you can see here, and southwest into parts of Iran. There are assumptions that it might have gone farther, but that's controversial. And I would... So, it's estimated that the glory days of the Indus Valley civilization were probably around 2500 to 1700 BCE. Estimates show that it has existed since maybe 3,300 BCE, according to trade signs with Mesopotamians. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Moving on to the cities. 1921 was the year that Harappa was discovered in the Punjab region of Pakistan, not India. Mohanjodara was discovered in 1922 in the Sindh region, also in Pakistan. Sutkagan Dor was discovered in Balochistan, Lothal in Gujarat, Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro were the biggest of the other cities at about one square mile. Side note, New York City is 304.6 square miles, so the biggest of the other cities is pretty small. Most cities had complex water management systems. They also had sewage removal systems. This is probably a well here. This is a sewage removal drain system. What's weird is that unlike many cities in the ancient civilizations, they rarely had temples or monuments to the gods or to represent government. Like the biggest building in Mohenjo-Daro was nor political, nor theological, but a bath. Strictly, the Great Bath. Just a weird fact that might make sense later. So, the fact that these two cities were the biggest shows political centralization. Basically, this means that the government was localized in these two cities. Kinda like the United States federal government is in Washington, D.C. Same idea. Speaking of government, the civilization probably followed a theocracy. It might have been headed by priest-king type people. These were priests who were also kings. These priests were the head of city-states, probably, such as Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. The government probably didn't spread through military conquests. They used trade and relations. As for money, it was most likely soapstone seals. We'll talk about them later. It, most, it would have started out as a bartering system, with A and B and, you know, trading for A and B and then trading A and B to different people. And then evolved into seals. And we do know they traded. Remember how I said that seals of the Indus Valley Civilization were found in Mesopotamia? Not only in Mesopotamia, but they have been found in China. So they traded cross-continent from China to the Middle East. Anyway, on to agriculture and all that stuff. They were primarily an agrarian society. For anyone who doesn't know what agrarian means, it's basically anything related to agriculture or growing things out of the earth. They had a system of ditches and canal irrigation. 
This is a system where there are small canals dug into the ground and dams built to allow water to flow and supply the plants. It's quite complicated because the floods of the Indus and Saraswati could destroy. So, imagine this canal with no siphon tubes and these plants right up next to it and no crazy, you know, concrete walls, just, you know, normal walls. Nonetheless, the Indus Valley people figured out how to control the floods and reap the rewards. Get it? <laughs> Agriculture jokes for the win. Mostly, they grew wheat and barley. You find these almost in every civilization. They also might have grown mustard, sesame, dates, field peas, and some form of cotton. They domesticated dogs and cats, humped and shorthorn cattle, possibly pigs, camels, and buffalo. They might have used elephants for the ivory and transport. They traded and imported materials from present-day Iran and Iraq, then known as Persia, and present-day Rajasthan. In the art, seals were made of copper, soapstone, and terracotta. It was usual to find some type of animal in the seal. Said animal didn't have to be real. It could be a fantastic animal. Not real, like in the unicorn seal. Right here. Seriously. I'm not kidding. Otherwise, one of the most well-known seals is the Pashupati Mahadeva seal, or the Pashupati seal. It shows a man sitting in the middle of a bull and a tiger. What it seems to be showing is that the man can control the bull and the tiger, hence the name Pashupati. Pashupati is another word for the god Shiva, the destroyer, part of the Hindu Trimurti, you know, one of the strongest god in, gods in Hinduism. Like I said before, these seals have been found in Mesopotamia, suggesting trade and at least contact between the two civilizations. Other than that, the Indus is known for some of their sculptures and such. One of the most famous ones is called the Dancing Girl. It is over four inches tall and made of bronze. It was excavated from the Mohenjo-Daro site. It shows a girl with one leg up and out into the air, kind of like when you walk. Also, there's this cool looking bowl made of baked clay. Look it up when you have time. Also, beads, but I don't have time to go into detail about that. Just know that the industry wasn't low tall and that the people of the Indus were super fashion conscious. Now for the end. No, really. The end of the Indus River Valley civilization. Three ways to look at it. Number one, the Aryan invasion. No, these are not the Nazis. According to the rig wave, I'll tell you about it later, the arrival of the Aryans, or the Indo-Aryans, into the Indus Valley and farther south corresponds almost exactly in time with the end of the Indus River Valley civilization. So the Aryans were like, sorry dudes, we kind of have to kill you, invade your homeland and whatnot. You know, conquerors gotta conquer. Actually, they probably just killed the people and there was no communication because, you know, different languages and stuff. Number two, environmental disaster. Sudden earthquake, shift in the river routes, floodplain dry up, and they leave or die, we don't know for sure. Number three, the final theory is that they left due to floods leading to the destruction of the area. Basically, floods ruined the crops and houses were destroyed since they were made of clay. So there you go. The shortened explanation for the Indus River Valley civilization. In all honesty, there's a lot more to this civilization than what I stated. Read up on it if you want. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. I'll end this, the vi I'll end this video like I started. Don't forget to be awesome. Said John Green, not me.